guided mantra meditation is part two and we hope that you will also uh, enjoy this gajapa meditation the guided mantra meditation we request everyone to please close their eyes and we'll do a little breathing exercise just to you know channelize our uh, thoughts and to just focus our attention let's take a deep breath in hold it let it out take another deep, deep breath in hold it release it so now let us all think that we are all sitting in a room together slowly we all step down we all walk towards a spiraling stairway it's very very dark and it is a spiraling stairway so we do not know where the stairs lead because the entire stairwell is completely dark one of us volunteers to lead with a flame of light we have faith both in the loving association of our wonderfully new found family these wonderful friends that we have the sweet association of krishna's kind devotees who are with us not giving up on us and the second greatest support that we have is the chanting of krishna's sweet holy names krishna has manifested on our tongue so we seek shelter we hold on to the hand of a trusted devotee and on our tongue we constantly chant these beautiful holy names as we start walking down the spiraling dark stairwell please repeat after me hari krishna hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama hare rama hare rama 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 hare 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 chanting these beautiful names constantly while holding on to each other we are walking down these spiral staircases which is very damp there is a damp kind of a smell that is coming we are sensing it while we are walking down the devotee holding our hand in front of us cautions us that one of the wooden steps is broken and we must not trip and fall we are not at all feeling scared but we have faith that the devotee is guiding us properly and we very carefully pass over that fallen that broken wooden staircase we keep walking down because we know that krishna is with us and we are holding the hand of the trusted devotee who is our best friend our guide our well wisher and these two things are the only things that are constant and permanent in our lives krishna and his dear devotees now we come to the end of the spiral staircase it opens out to a tiny little room we see that it is very dirty but there is a beautiful throne there at the same time that throne is filled with so much dust all together we start cleaning the room and while we are cleaning 
the dust starts flowing everywhere. We feel that we commit a mistake by starting to clean this room. This room is dirtier than when we began. But then we see a devotee very sincerely continuing to clean the room, putting on a cover over their mouth, drawing inspiration from the sincerity of that devotee. We too cover up our mouths and start cleaning vigorously while constantly chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And as we are chanting, in each other's association, drawing inspiration from each other. We are all feeling so blissful. We are all busy in cleaning while ecstatically chanting the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. The room appears to be cleaned up. No trace of dust is remaining. Suddenly, throne's color is revealed. It's golden with precious gems studded on it. We light up candles all around the room and light beautiful incense, which removes the smell of dampness from the room. To sit down in the brightly lit room, smelling the sweetly fragrant Parijata incense. We sit in this room and chant the holy names. In this clean room, our mind is not allowed, our intelligence is not allowed to enter this room. We don't listen to our mind, nor to our intelligence. We simply chant, hearing one mantra at a time. As we hear this one mantra at a time, focus on the holy name. In this moment, our lust is being transformed to love. Our greed to generosity, our anger to tolerance and our arrogance is now transformed to humility. While we are chanting, we are praying for forgiveness to Krishna, for turning our back on Krishna all these lifetimes. We are feeling remorseful and helplessly begging to be accepted. Please, Krishna, accept me. Even though I know I do not deserve to be accepted, Yet, we are feeling so hopeful that Krishna will accept us back because he loves us. Because Srila Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj love us. And they have petitioned to Krishna on our behalf. We are feeling so grateful to be allowed access to chant the holy names that will revive our lost relationship. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The golden throne, which was sitting right in front of us, which was empty before. 
Now we see that Srila Prabhupada is sitting there with a beautiful smile, smiling down at us so lovingly with so much care. And who do we see on the throne? None other than Lord Gauranga and Lord Nityananda dancing up and down in ecstasy, listening to our chanting. They are dancing ecstatically on the throne while we are purely chanting the holy names. This fills us with so much bliss that these wonderful personalities, they are responding to our japa. They are listening to our japa. With this realization, while we are seeing them dance in ecstasy, Srila Prabhupada listening to our, our chanting with so much attention. Let us one more time, lovingly, feelingly, in a prayerful mood, call out to the sweet names of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. See all of them responding so beautifully to our japa, we realize that this enlightened little room that we are all sitting in is actually our own hearts, which is now filled with pure light and fragrance of the appearance of Srila Prabhupada, our spiritual masters, Sri Sri Gauranga and Nityananda Prabhus, the throne of our hearts are now occupied. Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda have made, have they have chosen to make our house their permanent residence in reciprocation of our pure Japa. In this enlightened room of our hearts, we feel so blissful that because we allowed only the like-minded devotees to come with us, Devotees who nurture our Krishna consciousness. Devotees who are so much encouraging to us. Only they are allowed. Even our own mind, our own intelligence is not allowed in this tiny bhajan puti of our heart that we are chanting the holy names. Every day when we chant, this is the place that we must seek out. This is the place that we must look for in our own hearts. And in the throne, in the golden throne of our hearts, you know, with our pure chanting, Lord Gauranga and Lord Nityananda will appear and they will dance like madmen. They will dance. Our Dhuta Mahasha and Nityananda Prabhu will dance. He will give us the taste if we want it. Lord Nityananda, he is looking for excuse to give us a taste for chanting the holy names. And if we sincerely desire it, why will Lord Nityananda not give us the taste for chanting the holy names? Lord Nityananda will definitely bestow his love upon us so that we can develop attachment to the holy names feeling so blissful in each other's loving association, seeing the golden smiling faces of everyone in this tiny heart of ours. We are feeling so happy, so blissful. And now there is no darkness, no dampness in our heart. It is a straight pathway. There's no more curling staircase. Everything is now brightly illuminated. It is a straight access directly. Whenever we want to chant the holy names, we just enter into the bhajan putir of our own heart, which is so bright, so effulgent. And then in the golden throne, we have our spiritual masters, Srila Prabhupada and Shishi Gaurapai, sitting nicely and listening to our chant. With this mood, we slowly, slowly, Place both our hands on top of our eyes, 
Press down gently. Release. Bring our hands in front of our chest in a namaskar. And slowly, slowly open our eyes and come back to external consciousness. Thus, we have an experience of what it is to chant in the bhajan kutir of our heart, where not, no unwanted person is ever alive, other than just our spiritual masters, Srila Prabhupada, Shushi Gornikai, and sincere devotees who inspire us in our devotional service. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada, Krishna. Hare Krishna.